like a bird on a tree. I'm just sitting here. Welcome to Desmond's Donders. Let's head off on a donder. Welcome to a short series of three videos. Video one, as you can see here, is about the Spitfire. And on Friday, the third video of the series will be the conclusion of this drawing. Uh, Wednesday is the 11th day, the 11th hour, and I'll have a, an appropriate video, um, as I have been doing. Or remembrance. Not only is it a remembrance week, it also is the 20th anniversary of my official leaving of the Air Force date. The Supermarine Spitfire was a British single-seat fighter aircraft that was used by the Royal Air Force and other Allied countries before, during and after World War II. Many variants of the Spitfire were built, using several wing configurations and it was produced in greater numbers than any other British aircraft. It was also the only British fighter produced continuously throughout the war. The Spitfire continues to be popular among enthusiasts and nearly 60 remain airworthy. And many, many more are static exhibits in aviation museums around the world. The Spitfire was designed as a short-range, high-performance interceptor aircraft by R.J. Mitchell, chief designer at Supermarine Aviation Works, which operated as a subsidiary of Vickers Armstrong from 1928. Mitchell pushed the Spitfire's distinctive elliptical wing with cutting-edge sunken rivets designed by Beverly, Beverly Shenston to have the thinnest possible cross-section, helping to give the fighter a higher top speed than several contemporary fighters, including the Hawker Hurricane. Mitchell continued to refine the design until his death in 1937, whereupon his colleagues, Joseph Smith, took over as chief designer, overseeing the Spitfire's development throughout its multitude of variants.
Thank you for watching this week's Desmond's Donuts. Please take nothing but memories, leave nothing but tracks. We hope you enjoyed it and you will join us next time. In the meantime, please think about subscribing. Thank you.